hello guys welcome to another tutorial video today i'll be teaching you how to thicken your watery liquid soap yes guys you will thicken your watery liquid soap to this consistency and it will still foam as well as i'll be showing you the tricks yes guys so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please kindly do like and share my videos um to start with the major problem what usually causes your liquid soap to be watery maybe it will be um improper measurement of the chemicals if you don't use the chemicals properly it will lead your liquid soap to be watery the other way is also the stirring technique you have to either go clockwise or or anti-clockwise you don't go clockwise and anti-clockwise at the same time guys look at this watery liquid soap this liquid soap is basically water but then i'll be using three different chemicals to thicken this liquid soap for you so the first chemical here is our salt our normal salt we know you can use the stone salt or the anapuna this is sulfonic acid this chemical number two and this is nitrosol also known as thickener powder that's chemical number three so we'll be starting off with um sulfonic acid so we'll fetch some of our watery um liquid soap into a different container and then we'll go ahead to add our sulfonic so what sulfonic does for watery liquid soap is that it's a two-in-one chemical it helps the liquid soap to thicken it also helps the liquid soap to lather so if you are using the sulfonic acid um you wouldn't need extra water to dilute this liquid soap so what happens is that it will thicken your liquid soap and it will help your liquid soap to lather. So in this essence, you do not need to add any extra foaming components to this liquid soap as you are just mixing it um, as the chemicals you use to do the production. So guys, watch how this um, sulfonic will thicken this liquid soap in a minute and your liquid soap, um, watery liquid soap, so a problem will be solved. Guys, look at it. You see, it's very thick. I like sulfonic acid for as a thickening component because it, it's a two-in-one, like I said. It thickens and then it makes your liquid soap to lather. But if you are doing um, dishwashing liquid soap, you cannot use sulfonic acid as the chemical components in it is cancerous when consumed. So once sulfonic is not for you, I think chemical number two and number three will be for you guys we are done with sulfonic let's move to the next chemical but before then let me pour it and then you see the consistency actually the sulfonic does the work perfectly perfectly but it, it, it will be a disadvantage if only you are using it for dishwashing you will not be able to use it for that guys look at it see how thick and like it's very thick you can see it and the consistency is there you do not dilute anything and it add extra foaming to the liquid soap so guys let's go to our chemical number two would we'll actually transfer some of our watery liquid soap to our container again and then we'll go ahead to uh, mix the chemical So our next chemical we'll be adding is nitrosol, also known as thickener powder. With this one, you have to um, dilute it with water. So this is nitrosol solution, also known as thickener solution. I did the dissolving earlier, so you can check on that video on my channel. I have videos on how to dissolve thickener powder or nitrosol. So if you are using the thickener powder because you'll be adding extra water, you need to add either SLS or booster powder. This is because the extra water will come to dilute the foaming agent that was already there. So it will make your liquid soap less foamy. So if you do not add either SLS or um, um, booster powder, your liquid soap will be thick, it will be plenty, but yet it will not lather. So guys take note when you're adding thickener powder because you'll be dissolving it into extra water you will have to add um sls or booster powder guys as you can see it has taken this liquid soap also very beautifully and 
Yes, guys, it's almost done. So you are either adding the SLS or the booster powder. But I'll go with the SLS because with that one, I do not need to dissolve it in extra water. Add, uh, but the booster powder, I'll have to dissolve it in water again, which might end up making the liquid soap uh, more li uh, light again. So I'll go ahead to add my SLS. And guys, this is the consistency we have. Actually, we can add more um SLA, uh, thickener powder if you want depending on the consistency you want so guys this is the third chemical that is our salt our home salt cooking salt everybody knows we'll be dissolving it in this water so like i said earlier you can either use the stone salt or the powdered salt any of them it works with the salt too, it will also come and then make your liquid soup less foamy so you either have to add either the SLS or the booster powder to the liquid soap to adjust the foaming agent in it. Yes, guys, so salt actually is always the last option a liquid soap producer should go for because aside from adding extra water which will dilute the liquid soap the salt kills the foamness in the liquid soap. So if your liquid soap was very foamy, if you add more water, uh, that is because you are mixing the salt to dissolve it. The, aside from the water diluting the liquid soap, the salt itself has the tendency to kill the foam, uh, foamness in your liquid soap. So if you were to add one SLS, you have to add two. So the salt is basically like the third option, but anyone that is available for you you have to do it and then you test your liquid soap for the foamness so guys i'm coming to compare all three chemicals how it has taken the liquid soap for you to see and make a decision for yourself when you are doing um liquid soap thickening so this is the sulfonic acid aspect you see the liquid soap is very thick you can see the consistency you can see that jelly like um consistency this is the nitroso one. It's also thick, but the jelly-like, because the SLS hasn't dissolved fully, you are not getting the full jelly-like consistency in this liquid soap. And then this is our salt. Like I said, if you want the thickening to be more, you will need to add more salt. Also, because the SLS hasn't fully dissolved. You see that this and uh, the salt onto the jelly-like consistency is not there. So I'm coming to add all three um, components of the liquid soap together for you to see how, if you are using all three chemicals to take in your liquid soap, how your liquid soap will actually look like. Guys, look at this. We have, we have transformed our liquid soap from this to that. Wow, it's so thick. And the foaming, you can see the foam at the top. This liquid soap will be extra foamy because of the sulfonic acid, the foam and the sulfonic acid and the two SLS we added. Guys, you can see this liquid soap is very thick. So like I said, you can go for sulfonic if you are using it for like washing of clothing, scrubbing, cleaning. If it has to do with dishwashing, then you have to go for the nitrosol or the thickener powder as that one that is not harmful for um, washing bowls or any of that. But then you have to remember, you need to add more booster powder or SLS to your um, production to adjust the, because of the dilution. You have to adjust the foamness because of the dilution. Guys, look at it. Our liquid soap is very thick in less than some few minutes so if you've produced and your liquid soap is watery it's because of the chemicals measurement and also your stirring technique so once you detect what your problem is you just try and thicken it with these three chemicals whichever one that goes for you and then in your next production you are careful not to repeat the same mistakes guys look at the thicken consistency are you seeing it Yes. So 2025, I'm here to make your life better. Do not cry. Do not um, worry. Any problem you have, kindly put it in the comment section. I will solve it for you. Those lumpy white, white things you see, that's the SLS. But within, some, uh, within an hour to two, it will fully dissolve. And then you can package it for sale or whatever you want to use it for. Remember... 
use the accurate chemical measurement for your production use the right steering technique you either go clockwise or anti-clockwise and then three if it still end up being watery you use these three chemicals each any of them that works for you to thicken your liquid so sulfonic salt and thickener powder guys thank you so much for watching another tutorial video until next time keep sharing bye